How's everyone doing today? I'm super excited. I just got the 3080 installed. I just downloaded the latest drivers. Uh, we can check right here under system information just to make sure 100%. So the driver version is 456.71. We can cross reference that on NVIDIA's website. Uh, right over here, we choose the 3080. Uh, yep. And yep. 456.71 released on October 7th, 2020 for the game ready drivers. Moving forward, I want to show you some quick specs from the 3080. So it features a base clock of 1440, a boost clock of 1710, a memory clock of 1188, and it has a TDP of 320 watts. Uh, techpowerup.com is the article I'm pulling this from. So if you wanted to see any more information, uh, I would definitely suggest jumping on here and checking it out. So right now what we're gonna do um, at a stock profile is run superposition benchmark 4K optimize. I'm gonna get a result. From that result, I'm gonna do a little bit of tweaking using MSI Afterburner, and I'm gonna see if I can create a, a stable overclocking profile. Okay, so our stock profile scored a 13652. <clears throat> to put that in perspective, if we enrolled uh, on ungin.com, to their global leaderboard, we would be about number 232 out of everyone who enrolled and inputted a score on this leaderboard, which is pretty impressive. Um, and it's pretty impressive comparatively looking at the Asus ROG Strix 5700 XT that I ran just a couple of days ago that scored about a 7,000, and that was undervolting the uh, Asus ROG Strix. So now what I'm gonna do is jump on MSI Afterburner and I'm gonna try to create a overclocking profile that's stable. Um, so yeah, give me some time, I'll be back uh, with some results. So I've spent the last hour playing with Afterburner and running benchmarks and I've come to this profile. So we're not gonna change the core voltage at all. We are going to change the power limit, we're going to max it out. We're gonna set an offset of plus 90 to the core clock we're gonna set an offset of plus 800 to the memory clock. And then I created my own custom fans, uh, fan speed curve. So I don't really care about fan noise. This is kind of overkill, but it, it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, now going over the score uh, that we got from this uh, overclocking profile, we scored a 15,372. Uh, the previous score was a 13,652. We jumped up on the leaderboard to number 75, which is pretty nuts. Um, I'm still not going to enroll. I don't care, but <laughs> it is pretty nuts. I'm sure that I could probably go even higher, but I think I'm just going to keep it at this. Uh, now, would I run this as a daily? Um, probably not. Stock, the TDP is 320 watts. Uh, when I was running super, uh, super position with this profile, I saw it jump to a high of about 360 watts. So to each its own with their opinion of TDP, uh, TDP thresholds. I'm probably going to uh, come up with a profile that doesn't consume uh, 360 watts. It's probably going to consume, uh, I would say probably around 320 to 340. Um, but yeah, so with everything considered, that's the end of the video. If anyone has any thoughts, ideas, or remarks, please feel free to comment. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for future content such as this. Enjoy the rest of your day.